Hi guys, Mel the Train Shooter here again and th this is sort of an idea going on a tip. If it works out it'll be an idea and if it's a tip you'll probably never see it to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but anyway, when you're using these static grass applicators to apply static grass, yeah, they work on a basis of carrying the current through a wire yeah, into the glue and so the, the current makes the static grass stand up. Now, it was developed by the railway people and the problem is that they do rather large displays and so they can put a pin in their board and they can shake all the way over here and it all works. Whereas with us war gamers, yeah, we're using small areas and little patches. And so what I did is rather than na knock a nail in, I used a pin. And what I do is I just put it in and do a little bit. And I'm going to charge that up and I'll show you the problem with this. Yeah, so obviously as I'm doing it, I click and I jump and I cover myself in static grass. So I've been thinking I need a better way of touching the glue with this part while I'm working on small pieces and, and getting up close and doing stamping, so to speak. So what I've come up with is an idea. We'll see if it pays off. I'm going to use a biro tube with a bit of brass rod. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the brass rod through the biro tube. Yeah, so it sticks out at the bottom. Very much like one of those long graphite pens that you can get. And then what I'm going to do is basically attach this up here. Okay, and then what I should have is very much a stylus that I can simply work along and press in without nailing, without going too close. And with it being plastic, it, it saves the risks of this touching the important part. Now, the idea is really simple. I'm going to put wrap paper towel around this. Soak it with watered down PVA and then put it in and then when that dries I'll know that that's completely set. I'll trim off the end, attach this onto the end and then seal it with a bit of black electrical tape. And what I should be left with is literally a tool that I can come along and I can work on really small patches while shaking and there's no chance of me setting sparks off and throwing it everywhere and knocking everything. So, my wife who's taking a break from a sociology homework is looking like her arms are aching already so I'll crack on with this you don't need to watch me work yeah and I'll come back and we'll do a few test pieces on here and we'll see how we get on alright guys see you in a moment okay guys it's worked out better than expected to be perfectly honest now quickly running through what I did uh, I put a brass wire and I wrapped it in some tissue paper then soaked it with PVA and then I squeezed all the moisture out to get it nice and tight and then slowly twisted it as I fed it in it got to about there and at that point I used a file and just pushed it and wedged it all the way down. Once it was sort of wedged in I put a blob of super glue in the top and forced in the end of a cocktail stick and trimmed it to make sure that wasn't wiggling about at all and to make sure that was stuck firm. And then just simply clipped the end off, put the crocodile clip on and then taped it up. I also did a few modifications to this and they're only simple but I got some electrical tape and I wound it round fixing the wire. The reason being is when the railway people do their dioramas, they're big things like six foot long and so they need the wire to be able to stretch. With us doing war games terrain, yeah, we work really close up and so the wire tends to get in the way. Uh, the other thing I did is I put one of my daughter's hairbands on there so I can just slide the pen in when I'm done with it. So it works really well and there's a few things that I've noticed straight from the off. Okay. It, it, you hold it naturally, yeah, because it, it's a pen, and it's a lot less awkward than holding a pin with a, a crocodile strip. Yeah, I can safely feel like I can work on areas without being anywhere near the spark. It's plastic, so it doesn't conduct. So, for example, I can put that down there, and I can tap against it. Yeah, and just to show you this in action, yeah, a little bit of PVA on this cake base. Yeah, I'll get some static grass, dump that in there, hold it on, press into my glue, yeah, and it's working to a treat, really is. And yeah, and that's all standing up. And so, it's definitely a winner. Finally, the added bonus of this, or oh, I bent the needle a bit, so I'll bend that back. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that's handy. Yeah, is I can do this. 
to discharge it. So I'm nowhere near it guys. So overall, started as an idea, it's definitely a brilliant tip. I mean, just very quickly, I know it's not dried yet, but that is very nice. When it dries, it'll be very realistic. Nice and easy guys. See you in the next video.